All right, I'm going to do a little tutorial uh, showing how to use Audacity to glitch a photo. Um, basically, you're going to need your uh, your image, obviously. Um, you're going to want to turn it into a bitmap. You can do that using uh, Photoshop or really any photo editing program. Um, I've already done it. Someone yesterday had requested on a uh, on a page for a certain image to be glitched. Um, so I already have one ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. You have your image right here, uh, the Colt BMP. And then you're going to open Audacity, go to New. You're going to go to Import as Raw Data. You can do it as a raw file. Um, I just found out yesterday you can do it using bitmap. Works a little bit better, at least in my experience. I'm um, going to go ahead and open it and change it to Little Indian and U-Law. Make sure the channel stays mono and I really don't mess with this stuff here. Once you have your file in, you're going to see it. It's a sound clip now. You can play it. it sounds terrible. Um, but you're going to want to take don't go from the very beginning because that is where all the header info is and that's how I make sure it goes back to an image file once you're done adding to it go ahead and select what you want to mess with and you can go ahead and just add any effect really um, from what I was using yesterday here let me double check made a file with all the different effects. And which one was my favorite? The EQ and I think it was Phaser. Let me check the Phaser one. No, it wasn't that one. It was the pitch change. Yes, the pitch change one. Um, that one you got to be very minimalistic with it. You really do have to watch what you do. Um, try not to go overboard because if you go overboard, it will mess it up. Um, but personally, my favorite is the equalization. You just put random peaks in there. Uh, you can go ahead and draw curves as well. And then we'll also add a... Here, we'll go ahead and do a invert on a selection as well so you can see how that works. And then we'll do a reverse in there too. Alright, and then you're going to go to export, go to the format other uncompressed files, and whenever you go to save as, make sure you type in BMP, make sure you save it as something else other than your the original file name, otherwise it will erase it and you will lose that image. It's always best to make sure you copy your files, duplicate them whenever you're glitching. So we'll go ahead and do Colt. We'll spell it the right way. Uh, go ahead and select yes. Okay. And it should be done now. So we go back in here. And that is our file right there. Um, see how it turned out. It's a really low res file to begin with. So I'm not going to be able to go really in detail with it. I know it does work better with higher quality pictures. Um, my buddy Mason sent me these pictures a while back and I was just messing with them today. You can really see it goes really just depends on the resolution of the image. 
and how clear it'll turn out. But I mean, even this zoomed in all the way, and it's coming out 